He's gotta be around here somewhere. Ready for this? Go for the legs, Evan! The legs! It's the only way to take him down! It's... Not so it's fast. Evan! I understand now! A leader must be willing to give his life to protect his people. That's what Zip is planning to do, but I'm not going to let him. Not now. I won't run away. Not again! Not ever! Oh, Evan! Oh. Flipping Eggman, I am buzzing! There goes nothing!
Lofty! Is it... Is it really you? Amazing! You're amazing! Bastion doesn't stand a chance! Go on, Lofty! Show us your true power! Just getting used to being big and long and handsome again. Knickers! <laughs> exactly. But I... Don't deserve to run this country, huh? I think the people might have something to say about that. President Vector, I came here originally to ask you something. You see, I'm trying to bring peace to our world. Real, lasting peace. But I will need your help to do it. Can I count on your support? Oh, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. We'd need a preferential trade agreement, of course. Do you guys have an official technology partner? Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we stand, stand as, as one single, single land. land. So he's looking to bring back this Horned One, and you're looking to stop him? Yes. And if we can join forces with the other kingdoms, we may just stand a chance. I see. And out of the big players, there's only Ding Dong Dell left now, huh? That could be difficult. 
Yes. But I can tell by your face, you're not gonna back down. Luckily, we'll be right behind you. You have my word as president of Broadleaf. Thank you so much. You'll be going with our new friends, Bracken? Yes, Mr. President. Just as you ordered. But is that really all right? Bracken's awfully important to your kingdom, isn't she? Sure, and she'll be important to yours too. I could hardly send some second-tier engineer to help our new partners now, could I? You heard the man. I'll be on hand for all your mechanical and technological needs from now on. From hair clips to airships, I'm your gal. So President Vector was free from the grip of his obsession. And Broadleaf became the next country to sign up to the Declaration of Interdependence. And not only that, but Evan found a new friend in Bracken Meadows, whose endless inventiveness was sure to help Evermore flourish as never before. Only one great nation now remained. Ding Dong Dell. So Lottie finally showed his true power. Yes, it was such a surprise. You never would have guessed from looking at him. And everything seems to be settling down in Broadleaf too. It does, yes. President Vector is back to his old self. I'm sh and his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. The bond between them is too strong for them to hold a grudge. I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. I have a long way to go before people look up to me like they do Zip, though. I'm nothing like him. It takes all kinds of kings to make a world. I think you should just keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? What? Oh, I was just wondering. Forget I asked. 